Hi everybody and welcome to the Teal Pumpkin or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul and I'm also going to style it towards the end of the video. Today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Danielle over at Comfortable Spaces. She does affordable living over on her channel. She's going to be doing a thrift haul and a style with me today. So once you're done watching my video, please go and check out her video. She has a garden tour on her channel. She does canning. She does everything affordable living. She has such an amazing home. It's, I believe she said, about 100 years old. She does thrifting. She finds the best items at the best prices. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. And she's just an all around great designer. So go over, tell her that I sent you, and please subscribe to her channel. I know you're gonna love it. So without further ado, let's get into the thrift haul and then I'll be showing you how I style it. So let's go. Okay, so um, all of the items that I found were from Goodwill. I found this little faux copper mug. Um, I've been looking to add a lot more copper into my home and since I can't find real copper, I'm going to take the faux copper. So I don't have a problem that this isn't real. Um, my idea for this would be to, I just have a couple little things that I thought I might show you how I'm going to style it. but like these, you could take that and maybe, you know, add some faux leaves to it, a pine cone. Um, you could get a much smaller pumpkin and you could, if you had a smaller pumpkin, you could like fit it in there. Um, and I think that that would look really cute what I thought I would do is hang it um, on my little rack on my counter over there. And I'll show you how I'm gonna style all of these um, once we get further into the video. But this was $4.75. Everything I believe that was on the same aisle, which was housewares, was $4.75. I think this is a little bit expensive. However, I have seen these at other thrift stores and Goodwill stores that were much more than this. So I snatched that up. I found this. I know that this is part of a tea set. It's missing the top. And I believe this is what you put your sugar in. I'm not sure that this is sterling, but it looks pretty nice. And it reminded me kind of like a trophy. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna style this later, but I was thinking it would be cute to put uh, maybe some faux flowers in it. I have these. These were a set. So I got both of these for $4.75 and they are extremely nostalgic to me. I remember my grandmother having something very similar to this and I thought I would probably style them on my counter next to my KitchenAid mixer. The next thing is this cute basket. I did stain this basket. It was very light and I stained it like I've been staining all of my baskets lately. It would be really cute for fall to put all kind of leaves in there, I think. 
Um, for Christmas, you could put some different items in there. Some berries and some pine, some pine cones. You could put some pumpkins. This really pretty plate it has a turkey on it. I'll probably put this on a plate stand because I don't, It's it was the only one there. Um, the back of it says Queens. That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know if it means anything to you, but it looks like it's kind of a newish type of plate. I really liked that. I thought it was very cute for fall and definitely Thanksgiving. And I found some books. These are some older type books. I love the color of them. This one is Abraham Lincoln. This is a cool book. So I have this one and then this one. This says it's a brass planter. It's better homes and gardens. But what I was thinking this would be so pretty to put some red poinsettias in it. That would be really cute. Got this. I think this is a pot too. Or I don't know what it is. Comment down below and let me know what this is. I have a Christmas tree we could put in there. That would be really, really cute. Or some poinsettias or another plant. Um, that was my intention when I purchased this, to put plants and um, Christmas trees in them. So that, I was very happy with that. I do have a lot of plants over here, but there really isn't a lot of light in my house, so I kind of have to put my plants where I can put them. Um, I have a porch. If you guys can see that, I have a porch and it covers um, basically the whole back side of my house. So it's really hard to get any type of light in my house. I just have to put my plants where they will go. So I'm not going to style everything because some of these items um, I bought for Christmas, um, and I already have out a ton of decor right now. So I want to kind of breathe <laughs> for a while before I really get ramped up with Christmas. But what I'm going to do, because I love hydrangeas, they're my favorite. So this is how I styled it. I put one hydrangea with the books on the piano with my pumpkins. And then on the other side, I just put the basket with a whole bunch of hydrangeas. And I think it looks nice. I think it looks like fall, very subtle fall. I think it could look good with any season, actually. Okay, guys, I had to get in a <laughs> position where you could see me. Uh, this is how this is styled now. And um, I bought this to put up here. 
and I love to decorate this for the different holidays. I think it's so cute. Um, I wish it was a little bit longer, but So here are the two bowls. I just put a little ramekin in there. I don't know if you can see it. And it's just sitting on my, my little tray with my KitchenAid mixer. Okay guys, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed thrifting with me. I hope that you enjoyed styling my thrifted items with me. I really like to go thrifting. I think it's fun to challenge myself to find items that I can use and style in my home for everyday decor. I hope that you guys will go out and try to thrift as well. It's really fun. Let me know down below if that's something that you do already or if you're going to give it a try. I know Danielle got a great deal at the thrift stop shop near her. I believe she said that she paid around $10 for everything she picked up. I paid closer to 30 because I shopped at the Goodwill and the Goodwill is starting to get pretty expensive in my opinion for a thrift shop. Um, but it still is cheaper than some of the big box stores. So, and it is so much fun. It's like going on a treasure hunt. I, that's what I think I really enjoy about it. That and getting it at a good price. So, check out Danielle, Comfortable Spaces, give her a like and a follow, and tell her I sent you. And if you're coming over from Danielle's channel, thank you guys so much. I hope that you guys will have a wonderful rest of your day. You guys stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.